Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute, really fun Christmas decor piece using all these little miniature Amazon packages. Now, where do you get the packages? You can get them for free on my blog. The downloads are there. You just download them, print them out onto white card stock, cut them out, fold them, glue them into place, and there's that. Anyway, look in the description box and I'll also pin a comment with a link to that post. Hang tight and I'll show you how to make it. Hey y'all, let us get started. First off, the main thing that you're gonna need for this craft is these little Amazon packages. How cute are they? Here's a box and the little blue envelope here. These are like the little plastic padded envelopes that they have. And then this is just a standard brown envelope. And then here are some boxes, two smaller boxes. So you're gonna need those, and where can you get those? You can get those on my blog for free, okay? They're free, the printable is free. If you'll look in the description box, and I'm gonna pin a comment, I'll have links to each one of these, okay? So when you print them out, they look like this, like so, and on these, I put the labels separate, just in case maybe you want the box without the labels. Um, to utilize as much space as possible on here, I just went ahead and put the labels on there. I did the same thing with the blue ones. I put the label on there like so. But anyway, I'll show you here in a minute after you cut these out, kind of how to put them together, but it's real easy. You just cut everything out along the outside line here. Once you get it all done, you just fold the tabs down and these lines here, just fold on those lines and just fold it all, and then you just glue the tabs together and you make a little box. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you cut it out and get it in your hands and start messing with it, you'll understand. Now on these, you just cut it out, cut these, and then fold these tabs, fold it in half and glue it together. On here, now listen, these are smaller than these. So on these, there are three tabs so that you can put glue all the way around and make sure it really holds. Now on these, you can kind of like just glue right along the top because they're a little bit longer. And then before I glued them together, I took just a tiny little bit of polyester fiber fill. You can use a little bit of a cotton ball, whatever you want, and stuffed down in there to make them look like they actually have stuff in them, like so. Or you can leave them flat, it don't matter. But anyway, once you get over on the blog, you're gonna see a little, like little doohickey <laughs> says to download it and um, just click on that and then download it and you can print it. Now, if you don't have a printer of your own, you can ask somebody, you can go to your library or send it to a store like Staples. Just find a office supply store near you and they can print them out for you. I printed these off on just plain white cardstock. Now that we've got that out of the way, I know somebody's out there saying, Amber, stop talking. No, I will not stop talking. I'm trying to explain something. Shut up. Um, this piece of foam here, I'm just gonna cut it to kind of fit down in the bottom because we're gonna be putting some artificial snow in here and some little trees, and you're gonna want something for your boxes to rest on so that they don't get lost in all that fake snow, right? So we're going to be using this. And then we're gonna throw that over there to use later. And I'm probably gonna to have to trim this down just a little bit more to get it to fit in there. Trim a little bit down. And then I'm probably gonna to have to trim off some corners, of course, like so. Now I don't want any of this touching the side of the glass because once I pour the snow in, I want it to go all the way around the foam. I went to Dollar Tree because they have white foam and that white foam will look better, you know, not showing through the snow, but it's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. You can either, you can paint this white if you want to. I'm not, I'm just gonna stick it down in there. So let's see, that should be good enough. Now let's take a look before I put this in there, for real, for real, I have some of these trees that I got at Walmart. Dollar Tree carries them as well. But let's just kind of fit some of these trees down in there just to see how tall they're going to be. And these are pretty tall. So I think I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this foam in half this way. There we go. Now let's put that down in there. Let's put that tree down in there. It's still a little bit tall, but you know what? It's okay. We can just whack off the top of the tree. <laughs> All right. 
So I have my hot glue gun going here. I know a lot of y'all have said that you're having trouble finding this glue gun on Amazon. I have emailed AdTech to ask them, you know, why it's not on Amazon hardly anymore. And I haven't gotten a response back yet. But if we're going to continue to have a problem with this, I'll get a different glue gun, try it out for you guys, and have links to that one. But anyway, I'm just going to put some hot glue down in here, and then we're going to glue the foam into the bottom. Okay, so that is stuck down in there. And now what I want to do is let's get the packages together before we start worrying about the trees. So let's see here. Let's take that big one, and I think let's let's have it set in there so that you can... No, let's turn it this way. So that you can actually see what it is. And then I want to stack these other boxes on top of it and then kind of stick the envelopes. So I think what I'm gonna do is put some of this snow in first, just to give us sort of an idea of what we're looking at. Let's see. I wanted like the solid white kind, but Walmart was out. Like I said, my Dollar Tree is not having a whole lot of stuff right now. All right, get off of there. Okie dokie. So yeah, this box can sit there. And then I'm going to take the other little boxes and glue on top of that. And then take one of these envelopes and just kind of set it off to the side, tack it down a little bit with some glue. Okay, so I've glued my boxes together and this is what I have. And then I'm just gonna put some glue on the bottom here and then I'm gonna stick them down onto that foam and let that glue sit up. I'm trying to get it kind of close to the glass because remember, we need to have room to put our trees back there. So let's move this closer. This is what we have. All right. So I'm gonna let that glue set up and I'm going to glue some of these trees down in there. All right, so I've got all of the three trees wedged down in there. And you see, I cut the top off of that tree there. So that's what we have. Now, some of the green stuff did flake down into the snow, but that's okay, because we're getting ready to pour some more in there. So we're going to pour more and then just kind of give it a, a shaky, shaky, and just kind of work it all down in there. This is why I cut the film sometimes, because I know stuff like this takes time. Y'all don't want to sit there and watch me doing it. Now, see, we need to put a little bit more in there. So I am just going to keep filling it up with this snow until it's pretty much as deep as I want it. And then we're going to start decorating the lid and we're going to light it up. Okay, so I've got all the snow that I want in there. So now let's decorate this lid. Now, this lid has a ding in it right here. And it also has like these little, I don't know, kind of like rust spots or something. But anyway, when you see stuff like that in the store... Ask if you can have a discount. Sometimes they'll just give it to you. But uh, that jar came from Hobby Lobby, and um, I did get a discount on it. So <laughs> just look for stuff like that. I mean, they're going to throw it away anyway. I guess they'd rather sell it. But let's see. Now we're going to take some of this. Where do my scissors go? I don't have my scissors in here. Seriously? Knocked them off the table. Ha <laughs> ha! I found them. But anyway, take some of this ribbon. This is um, 7 eighths inch ribbon. I find a good place to put that. I mean, we're going to cover all this stuff up, but, um, and I think, oh, look, look, that will cover it perfectly. I don't have to worry about it then. I'm like, wow, you know, which side should we start this on to try to make sure that whatever that is, like I said, I think it's rust to make sure that's covered. It'll cover it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to wrap the ribbon all the way around the lid. Okay, so I've got the ribbon all the way around. I cut it too short here, but it's okay because we're going to put on some greenery and a bow and all that happiness. But anyway, now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do this before I start in with the greenery and the bow. These little touch lights, and look, they even have a hook here so that you can hang them up. But these came from Walmart. They come six in a pack. They're over near the light bulbs in the hardware section. And I think it was like 20 bucks for six of them. They're, they're pretty heavy duty and they just turn on like so. They take AAA batteries and they come with these little 3M tabs. You can stick right here and then stick to your item. And I'm going to go ahead and use that instead of Velcro because the way you take these batteries out is it twists. So even if the backside is glued down to something, you can just twist it to have access to the batteries. So it's not that big of a deal. The big deal is me trying to get the backing off this darn sticky thing. Quit making me look stupid. Anyway, check out my ring. My ring and my bracelet. 
Paparazzi, $5. Look down in the description box. You'll see a link that says Paparazzi. Click on that link and then click on the link that says shop because Christmas is a coming. And there's just only five bucks. You know, it's good for stocking stuffers. It's good for those last minute gifts. It's good for coworkers. Okay, so now we have this stuck there. Let's make sure that is nice and stuck down. I think it is. If it falls apart, we'll just glue it. Okay, so now I have some greenery here. This came from Walmart as well. I thought this was really pretty. So let's see, I'm just gonna cut a few sprigs of this right here. So let me cut that. All right, I have cut a few pieces. You get, how long, you can see about how long those are. So now I'm going to take the hot glue and we're just going to glue them right here. Don't worry what it looks like. We can all bend it later to make it, you know, go whichever way you want it to go. But I am going to glue a few of these sprigs like so. I'm gonna hold them down in place until the glue has set up and then we're gonna put a bow on it. Okay, I'll rearrange all this later, okay? I just wanted the, to glue it down there and sit over here and let the glue kind of set up and cure. But anyway, now we're gonna tie a bow and I'm sure y'all have seen my little bow video a gazillion times, but anyway, I take my ribbon around two fingers bring it down, push it completely through the back, bring it up. Now you see this loop here? Go around and through that loop, pull it tight, and there's a bow. If you haven't seen that video, I can link to that down in the description box too. But anyway, there's your little bow. People are like, how can you tie bows with long nails? You just gotta work at it. But anyway, now let's trim the ends and then we're going to glue it on here. All right, let's see where exactly we want this to go because see these leaves are sticking up here. But anyway, let's put a big old blob of glue and stick our bow. So I may have to trim some of this, um, some of this green stuff here. That's all right, we'll fix it. We shall fix it. It'll look good when we're done, don't worry about it. All right, so now we're gonna let that set up and I may um, trim this down and put a few more of those little green sprigs on it. All right, there we go. I have the lid on, I have the light on. I know this is difficult to see, but as always, just hang tight and I'm gonna have it at the end of the video. You've already seen it at the beginning, but I'll do it again at the end. But anyway, really fast and fun. But if you give me a second, I'm going to cut out one of the little boxes and kind of fold it and show you like the lines to fold it on. So there's no confusion there. Anyway, stay tuned for that. If you would, give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, at least all which will be in the description box down below. Hang tight and I'll show you how to fold them. Okay, so here's our little box. Let's zoom in a minute. So here's the little box once you cut it out. You're gonna take all of these brown flaps and you're just gonna fold them all down that way. So kind of keep it to where the printed side is towards you and then just fold all of the flaps, all of the brown flaps. Now this one, of course, you know, is kind of at the end, you just gotta be very careful. Just kind of pinch it and fold it like so. And we're gonna do the rest like that. Why did I put this at the end of the video? You know, so I wouldn't take up space at the beginning. You know, if you've done stuff like this before, you know how to fold it. If you don't, this is for you. Okay, so we got all the little flaps folded. And now you see these lines here, those are your fold lines. So now you're gonna take those and fold those down. Like that. And fold it like so. Okay, fold that one down. Now we have this strip here with this one line left. You just have to be real careful with that. Just kind of get your fingers as close as you can to it. Make sure you're right on that line before you start creasing it, okay? And now we have this. You can use whatever kind of glue you want. I used hot glue, so it you know, sticks together fast. So anyway, the way I do it is on this short end here, this little short flap, I just put a little bit of hot glue there, kind of smear it around so it won't make a big old lump. This fold over, be so careful, so, so careful. Just line up your edges here 
and press it down. And if you have to go back later and trim off any little edges with your scissors, you know, you can do that. It's hard to get these exact. <laughs> now we're going to take this long end and glue that here. Make sure you get your edges lined up as, as good as you can. Okay, like so. And let that set up. And then you can just press that down in there. Or you can do that first. Actually, I think that's what I did a while ago. I did that one first. But then you can put some glue right here. And just fold it down and tuck the little flap down. Like so. And then there's your little box. Let's see, I squished that a little bit too far, but you know what? You can trim that off with a pair of scissors. And then there's your little box, and you just cut out your labels and glue on top.